durian is the edible fruit of several tree species belonging to the genus Duria. The durian is believed to have originated from the Malay archipelago. Durio zibethinus, native to Borneo and Sumatra, is the only species available in the international market. It has over 300 named varieties in Thailand and 100 in Malaysia. Durians are commonly associated with Southeast Asian cuisine, especially in Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Cambodia, Philippines and Vietnam. In optimum conditions, a durian tree can eventually grow to be very tall, large and majestic. Adult trees started from seeds can eventually reach up to 50 meters in height, with a trunk diameter of 120 centimeters. Seedlings usually have a tall branchless trunk with an irregular, dense or open crown of rough branches. Young grafted clone trees have a distinctive characteristic shape like a large Christmas tree, and the branches grow out from the main trunk in every direction. Unless pruned otherwise, in older age they will eventually grow into the same tall form as seedling trees, but with a maximum height usually only about 40 to 70 percent as great. Durian trees are sometimes said to have a lifespan of 80 to 150 years although they appear to be inherently capable of living for centuries. Fruit production decreases in very old trees though the fruit quality tends to noticeably increase with age. Durian is a tropical fruit. It grows successfully up to 800 meters elevation, near the equator, and up to 18 degrees from the equator. A temperature of 24 to 30 degrees Celsius and relative humidity of 75 to 80 percent is preferred. A well-distributed rainfall of 1,500 millimeters and above is needed. But dry spells are needed to stimulate flowering. It requires a short dry spell of 2 to 8 weeks for flower induction, depending on the clone. The durian prefers sandy to clay loam which is free from water, logging with a pH 5 to 6.5. Undulating soils up to 12 degrees gradient are suitable. Though steeper slopes up to 25 degrees can also be planted with durian on terraces. There is evidence to show that durian clones are influenced by specific environmental factors. The production of durian seeds starts from the stage of preparing the rootstock. Durian seeds as much as 100 kg can give around 5,000 to 5,500 seeds. Durian seeds are cleaned first. The rest of the durian contents are removed and washed first before sowing in order to avoid fungal infection. Cleaning the nursery Nursery media, which is river sand, is suitable for durian seed nurseries. The nursery area is leveled first before planting. Seed nursery Seeds are sown. Approximately 2,000 to 3,000 seeds can be sown per nursery plot. Water spray after finishing the durian seed nursery. Ten to fourteen days after sowing.
germination percentage around 50 to 60 percent. 21 days after sowing. Seeds are ready to be moved. The tip of the root is cut a little. Seedlings ready to plan. Moving and organizing polybags. Seedlings move to polybags. After one to two months transferred. Dispose of weeds in polybags. Seedlings ready to be grafted. Grafting of durian buds. First step, basic tool of grafting. Grafting knife. Grafting tape. Secateurs Pencil Labels plant tags marker Second step, grafting basic materials Waiting durian tree seedling Choose a healthy and fertile trees There are three to four levels of mature leaves Age about four to five months. Bud eyes. Choose the glowing green. The bud is shaped like a crab's eye. Third step, start grafting durian seedling. Clear one third of the rod's circumference. Peeling the skin like a window. The size of the buds should be smaller than the size of the waiting tree. 
Examples of good buds. Stick the buds on the window part of the waiting tree. Wrap from the bottom of the grafting point directing up. Make sure the joint tape does not cover the bud point. Fourth step, opening the join. Grafted durian sapling is two weeks old. Grafted durian sapling is 30 days old. Joint tape should be opened after three to four weeks of joining. Grafted durian sapling is 40 days old. Grafted durian sapling is 50 days old. Grafted durian sapling is 70 days old. Grafted durian sapling is 4 months old. Grafted durian sapling is 5 months old. How to plant durian sapling Basic needs Durian seedlings Black net Fiber mat One meter wooden stake Durian Organic Fertilizer Planting Method
Durian has a shallow root system and is therefore very sensitive to dry environments. It cannot tolerate prolonged droughts. At the nursery stage, seedlings are watered twice daily, in the mornings and afternoons, to provide enough water for root development. The correct soil mix in the polybags is necessary to drain away excess water, as waterlogging may encourage rhizoctonia leaf blight. Field planting is usually done at the onset of the rainy season. Good drainage is required to avoid puddles in the root region which may hinder proper root development. Drip irrigation, at a rate of 4 to 6 litre per day per plant, depending on the size of the plant is recommended. Flowering initiation starts during the dry months. A longer drought period encourages profuse flowering. During these months, minimal irrigation is necessary to support vegetative growth. A prolonged drought during fruit development may result in a high incidence of uneven fruit ripening. Ample water at about 6 to 8 litre per day per plant is necessary during fruit development. Excess water encourages vegetative growth which may result in premature fruit drop. Weed control Weeds around newly planted seedlings are removed manually. Coconut fronds are sometimes used as a mulch and also for protection against the sun. In the areas away from the root region, the weeds are controlled mechanically with a lawn mower or grass cutter. Unwanted branches on the seedling that sprout just above the soil surface are removed. During the second year, the area around the tree is still mulched. Contact weedicides are sprayed around the plants at three-month intervals. Cover crops are grown to control weeds in other parts of the orchard. Ensure the cover crops do not creep over the durian plants. In the mature field, weeds are controlled both manually as well as with chemical sprays. Weed control is usually carried out during the onset of the rainy season. Pruning Pruning is done a year after planting. Most durian clones bear fruit on primary and secondary branches. The durian has to be trained with a main stem with primary branches developing around it. A balanced branch arrangement is necessary to obtain the maximum yield potential. Excess primary branches developed at acute angles compete with the main stem and have to be removed. 
At the first level, 5 to 8 primary branches are kept at about 75 cm above the soil level. To strengthen the primary branches, the growth of the main stem is reduced by keeping it below 1.5 meters tall. However the size of the primary branches should not exceed 30% of the main stem. The primary branches are bench cut to control their growth. In the fourth year of growth, prune the secondary branches to help even out the distribution of sunlight through the canopy. Year 1 Good Vegetative Growth No pruning is necessary. Encourage the growth of main stem. Year 2 acute branches are removed 5 to 8 lateral primary branches are maintained in a balanced arrangement, the first level at about 75 cm above ground. Year 3, removal of main stem to control plant height, to develop and strengthen primary lateral branches. Year 4, prune the secondary branches to help even out the distribution of sunlight through the canopy. Durian trees grown from seed begin to bear fruit at 8 to 10 years. Grafted durian trees begin to produce at 4 to 6 years. It takes about 110 to 120 days from flowering to harvest. The global trade of durian fruit is currently dominated by two countries, whereby China dominates the import activities, while Thailand dominates the export, followed by Malaysia. The harvest area for durian in Malaysia has been expanding, as durian is one of the most profitable fruits for farmers and exporters. The Musang King variety, also known as Mao Shan Wong, or D197, is the most popular of the several varieties of durian produced, and exported in Malaysia. The Musang King is dubbed the, King of Kings, and the most sought after variety of durian in the world, due to its exceptionally good flavor, texture, and aroma. Musang King has a rich and decadent custard-like flesh, with an aromatic flavor that is sweet, and creamy with complex notes of vanilla, caramel, fresh cream, and jackfruit. Musang King is notable for its pleasantly, bittersweet aftertaste, and rich flavor. Around 65% to 70% of the Musang King variety is produced in Pahang, located in central Malaysia. Durian has become the most popular crop planted in Malaysia making up to 41% of the land cultivated, or about 70,000 hectares. Nowadays, durian especially Musang King, is considered as a gold commodity, and a new source of income for Malaysia. For 2016 the production area decreased slightly so does the production. This was due to the prolonged drought condition in the major growing areas in Johor and Pahang. Since 2018 the cultivated area and production has increased back to about 73,000 hectares. In 2020, the planted area for durians was approximately 76.9 thousand hectares, an increase from the previous year.
Across Thailand, durian farmland has spiked from just 96,000 hectares in 2012 to 152,000 hectares in 2019, according to the Office of Agricultural Economics. Munthong is the most commercially sought after and famous durian variety of Thailand. It means, golden pillow in Thai. It produces large, elongated, oval cylindrical fruits tapering at the styler end. The large fruit has a pronounced beak, lobed, yellowish-brown each weighing about 2 to 6 kg. The peduncle is thick, and moderately long, and the rind is thick, and covered with sharp, pointed, small, conical, densely packed spines. Each fruit has 10 to 15 arils and many small, shrunken seeds. Each locule has usually three large, thick, creamy, smooth, pale yellow arils. The pulp has mild odor, and of excellent quality, constituting more than 30% edible portion, and has little physiological disorders. This cultivar is very good for processing into preserved frozen pulps. It bears fruit after 8 years of planting. Its poor fruit characters include the coarse texture flesh, the high fiber, and the flesh exhibit non-uniform ripening. It is susceptible to phytophthora. Munthong durians are one of the main durian varieties featured at the Chanthaburi Fruit Festival in the province of Chanthaburi, in southeastern Thailand. Chanthaburi is known as the Tropical Fruit Bowl of Thailand, and the 10-day, annual festival in May focuses on local crops grown in the region, including durian. Durian flowers are strongly fragrant, 50 to 70 mm long, and grow in stalked clusters of 1 to 45 individual flowers per cluster. These flower clusters hang from the main and smaller branches, or directly from the trunk of the tree. It takes about one month for a durian flower to develop from first appearance as a tiny bud to an open blossom. As it matures, the outer fleshy part of the flower splits to reveal five united sepals, and five petals. Durian flowers are hermaphrodites, each having a stamen and pistil in the same flower. Durian flowers show a high degree of self-incompatibility, and have to be cross-pollinated with other trees to set fruit. Bats, and moths are believed to be the main pollinators. Collection of fruits. In Malaysia, it is a traditional practice to allow the durian fruits to ripen on the tree, and drop naturally where they are collected or, harvested, daily over the fruiting season. At the start and end of the season, fruits are collected only once a day, usually in the morning, because of the low number of fruits. 
During the peak of the fruiting season, the twice a day scheduled morning and evening of collection may be necessary. The durian fruit may drop either during the day or throughout the night. Tree harvesting of fruits. Harvesting the fruit off the tree is a common practice in Thailand. Fruits are harvested at a mature stage and are then artificially ripened for the markets. The number of days of maturity after anthesis is commonly used as a guide for harvesting durian fruit. Other maturity indices, usually based on fruit's external appearance may be applied to confirm the maturity stage. The bulging abscission zone and the abscission layer on the fruit stem and the appearance of striking carpal sutures on the fruit are very important indicators for mature fruits. The carpal sutures on mature fruits can be seen very clearly from underneath the tree. To harvest durian, the stem should be cut 3 to 4 cm or more above the abscission layer. The stem is usually cut with a sharp knife or a pair of secateurs. For tall branches, a long pole fitted with a cutting device is used. Fruits can also be harvested by climbing the trees. During harvesting, the fruit should be prevented from falling to the ground as the fruit is very sensitive to mechanical injury, and fruit spines can be easily damaged due to the impact of the fall. The harvested fruit can be dropped into a bucket attached to a rope tied to its handle. The bucket with the fruit is then lowered to the ground by releasing the rope slowly. To avoid contact with dirt or infection by pathogens, harvested fruits should not be placed on the ground. They should be placed in field containers immediately after harvesting. The fruits would take about 5 to 7 days to ripen. Global trade in durian fruit is dominated by two countries at the moment, Thailand dominates exports and China dominates imports. According to Trademap, the two largest exporters of durian fruit in 2016 were Thailand and Malaysia with 403 million kilograms and 18 million kilograms respectively. Together these two countries accounted for 99% of global exports. Although Thailand and Malaysia are the largest exporters of durian, the composition of their markets is quite different. Thailand's production is predominantly exported, while production in Malaysia is consumed domestically. Global trade in durian can be quantified in two ways. Firstly via trade in raw fruit form, and secondly through trade in durian-based end products. The retail value of durian fruit trade, domestically and internationally, in raw fruit form, fresh, frozen, paste and pulp, was estimated to have a retail value of over 15 billion United States dollars in 2016. Global demand by 2030 is conservatively expected to grow to more than 25 billion United States dollars, driven primarily by Chinese demand. In terms of durian end products, the global trade value is difficult to ascertain due to the limited availability of data. Durian end products include the market segments of desserts, snacks and beverages. Its share of these markets is unknown but combined in Asia, are worth over 275 billion United States dollars annually and growing. Durian end products have been growing in prominence over the past couple of years with large F&B brands such as Pizza Hut, KFC, Nestle and Starbucks, introducing products to capture customer demand. China is the world's largest importer of durian with approximately 292 million kilograms imported in 2016. Its imports have risen significantly over the past decade, up 13.12 per annum, between 2006 and 2016. China accounts for 60 to 80 percent of global imports, depending on the source of data. UN Comtrade data indicates the figure is 82% while Trade Map suggests it's 66%. This is due to Trade Map including Vietnamese imports based on mirror data which raised total global imports and reduced China's share. Headquarter Chanthaburi Global Foods Raw material selection, select only unblemished produce with perfect ripeness. Washing raw material, clean and sanitize fruit surface before entering production line.
staff preparing before entering processing area, every step follows personal hygiene practices based on GMPs. Air shower at the entry of processing area. To remove dust, fibrous, and other contaminants from personnel. Peeling and cutting fruits. Prepare and sort out damaged fruit before sending to next process. Bricks measurement. Check pH and bricks in every lot to ensure the consistency of product taste. Spiral freezing allows frozen fruits to maintain original freshness, flavor, and texture. Pre-freeze, drying temperature measurement, care in every detail for the best quality of finished product. Vacuum freeze, drying, removes moisture at low temperature without damaging the original flavor, shape, and nutrients. Cold storage at minus 35 degrees Celsius to keep fruits fresh for customer demand throughout the year. Good sanitation and hygiene practices. Ensure cleanliness of personnel and facilities to prevent any contamination during production. Quality control. Employ food safety and quality testing to ensure the products meet international standards. Multiple industrial scale freeze dryers, capable to produce up to 400 mt of dried product per year. Metal detector, prioritize consumer safety by ensuring no any metallic foreign body in the products. Packing process, select only the best to deliver to customers. Global trade in durian can be quantified in two ways. Firstly via trade in raw fruit form, and secondly through trade in durian-based end products. The retail value of durian fruit trade, domestically and internationally, in raw fruit form, fresh, frozen, paste and pulp, was estimated to have a retail value of, over 15 billion United States dollars in 2016. Global demand by 2030 is conservatively expected to grow to more than 25 billion United States dollars, driven primarily by Chinese demand. In terms of durian end products, the global trade value is difficult to ascertain due to the limited availability of data. Durian is still considered a relatively niche product with growth still in its infancy. Durian end products include the market segments of desserts, snacks and beverages. Its share of these markets is unknown but combined in Asia, are worth over 275 billion United States dollars annually and growing. Durian end products have been growing in prominence over the past couple of years with large F&B brands such as Pizza Hut, KFC, Nestle and Starbucks, introducing products to capture customer demand. This price list is provided as a guide for some of the most popular durian varieties. Pricing has been collated from a variety of local based stores, and converted to US dollar per kilogram. Kindly note that these prices are for reference purposes only with durian market prices often changing due to seasonality, and other demand and supply factors. Additionally, market prices are also a function of store location and perceived quality. Musang King Durian which is also known as, Mao Shan Wong, or D197 is the most sought after, and expensive durian variety, due to its appealing flavor and texture. Prices for Musang King Durian in the key markets of Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong and China. To be exported to any country or region, durian must follow certain hygiene standards, have a long shelf life, and be packaged well to protect them during international shipping. Durian pulps and entire durians with shells can be frozen quickly and vacuum sealed. Vacuum packaging, vacuum skin packaging, VSP, and modified atmosphere packaging, MAP, changed atmosphere packaging are the most common durian packaging types. 
packaging machines for these packing types have varying production capacities, allowing durian processing factories to choose the best equipment for their needs. Before exportation, the entire frozen durian must be vacuum packed. As a result, vacuum packing machines are very common in the packaging process. Since the weight and scale of whole durians vary greatly, size sorting is needed before packing. Since a whole durian is a comparatively large commodity, to be vacuum sealed, chamber vacuum sealers, specifically equipped for a deep cavity of about 20 cm, are widely used.